The health of former members of parliament has become a significant concern following the deaths of some due to illness. Many young people are now eager to become parliamentarians. Despite its humanity-serving nature, some view it as a quick source of wealth, leading to a surge in young people aspiring to become MPs and politicians. MPs have been expressing concern over the poor conditions of former members who died due to poverty and inability to afford medical bills. The current and past speakers of parliament have emphasized the importance of MPs investing in their health as many die from ill health. On Thursday, the House paid tributes to two former MPs, Kwejo Tevia Lekwelmo Pandai and Dr. Mustafa Ahmed Ayawasu North, who have passed on and are yet to do the same for former MP for Bantama, Daniel Ochema Bwaje. Members in their contributions called for the access to Parliament's medical facility for both current and former MPs. We allow the public to bastardize us for S. Gracia, beyond S. Gracia. What is the quality of life of the former MP? And what are we doing to improve our lot? And Mr. Speaker, at the time, Professor Michael Kwe, as chair of the board, needed to help a former MP with 12,000 Ghana cities. And this MP was requesting to do a surgery, prostrate. And Professor Kwe turned to me and said, that Haruna, that's a member of your caucus, former member. So Professor Kwe whispered that, Minority leader, find half, and I also provide half. Mr. Speaker, before one week, this former MP passed on because he couldn't afford the cost of the surgery. Mr. Speaker, if we have the opportunity today to ensure that every member of parliament that would have come here on is, go is already gone or will be going, should be supported when they have left here, I think this is the right time for us to do it, Mr. Speaker. I have witnessed and seen some members of parliament who after parliament, after they've left parliament, have gone to live in garages. No rooms to live in, no houses to live in. Others lamented how many former MPs are grappling with ill health. The speaker, Alban Bagwin, emphasized the importance of members taking their health seriously. Some of the equipment we have here, you can't find in the hospitals. And it's here. Why don't you want to go to the medical center? Now, how do you spread this all over the uh, regions? Let's pass on the information to members. I'm aware of a number of former members of parliament who could not go out to buy medicine because of poverty and they died. I'm aware of a number of former members of parliament who, because of cost implications, were sent back home from various medical facilities. In 2023 and early 2024, five former and sitting MPs have passed away. MP for Kumewu, Philip Basua, died on March 27, 2023, at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital after a reported serious illness. Former MP for Pandai, Kwejo Tewia Lekwelmo, passed away on September 19 after battling a stroke. Former MP for Bantama, Daniel Ochema Bwaje, also died on September 23, 2023, at the Konfo Anoche Teaching Hospital. Former Ningo Pram Pram MP, E.T. Mensah, died at a hospital in South Africa on October 1, 2023, after he went there for medical treatment. On October 4, 2023, a former majority leader under the Kufo administration, Felix Owusu Ejapong, also died after illness. Former MP for Ayawasu North, Dr. Mustafa Ahmed, died abroad on February 7, 2024. The latest is the MP for Ejiso, John Kuma, on March 7, 2024. One can say that the deaths are one too many for persons who have dedicated their lives to serve the people and the country. Therefore, a system to help take care of their health and health needs, I guess, should not be too much for them to ask for. Evelyn Tinkma, TV3 News, Parliament House.